Welcome to Halftime Report. Well, it's 12 noon. We're halfway through the trading session. It's a good time to run you through what's going on. And it's looking like, a, you know, very uh, edgy screen, actually, because the Nifty is now down close to around 70 points. We're virtually at the low point of the day. Remember yesterday, in fact, you know, we managed to fight back a tad bit. At least we closed about the 10,750-odd mark. But today, in fact, you know, we were trying to hold on around the flattish line. And then, in fact, we did see some big, big, uh, you know, quite a, quite a bit of selling. The mid-cap index, yes, it's doing a relative outperformance. But that as well is still down close to around two-tenths of a percent. If we look at the number of stocks that are advancing in comparison to the number of stocks that are declining, well, 800 stocks are advancing. But I'll tell you what, more than 1,200 stocks are declining. And that's telling you the breadth of the market as well. After crisscrossing, we have more number of stocks that are declining as we speak. Nifty Bank is well down 165 points odd. Well, um, let's run you through all the top stories. Then, in fact, me and Lata will uh, get a whole host of management on the show. In fact, Lata is here with me. Hi, Lata. Hi. Yeah, I mean, uh, the backdrop was always negative. Uh, we tried to uh, overcome it, but uh, I would still think that, uh, uh, you know, uh, let's see how the European markets open. open up. Uh, after all, uh, that uh, reaction of 300 points down on Dow futures mm. was on thin volume True. after the Apple guidance. Uh, but let's see how those markets open. At the moment, clearly the biggest negative is that 10,750 has not held. So uh, we want to see whether the markets can plumb uh, further depths. That's a bit of a nasty jar coming in uh, uh, about an hour back. The top headlines? All right. Uh, the market fails to hold on uh, to the tepid morning gains. The key indices is they slip close to around half a percent each. Drag lower by HDFC Twins, l and and Reliance. The mid-caps outperform marginally, but the index is at the day's low, down close to around a quarter of a percent out. Crude rally puts more pressure on the rupee. The currency weakens along with other EM currencies. Yield, bond yields, that is, rise on additional fears of a farm package. Oil marketing companies top the nifty losers list. And Bank of Baroda, Vijay Bank and Dena Bank, they react to the merger swap ratio that was announced late last evening. 100 shares of Dena Bank will fetch 11 shares of Bank of Baroda and 100 shares of Vijay Bank will fetch close to around 40 shares of Bank of Baroda. Dena Bank is down 18% while Vijay Bank trades with a 7% cut today. <coughs> CapEx recovery is still a while away. Mahesh Vyas, the managing director of CMIE, says new investments in December quarter were at a 14-year low, while the rate of stalled projects also continues to be higher. And Morgan Stanley's big call for 2019 is to invest more in emerging markets in comparison to developed markets. Chetan Ayer tells NBC TV 18 that China, India and Brazil are his top three picks from the emerging market equities. Okay, all right, let's get straight to the top story then. In fact, late last evening, the cabinet had approved the merger of uh, some of these PSU banks, and we've got the merger ratio as well. Lata has been tracking that. Uh, Lata, run us through uh, your analysis. I mean, the merger ratio clearly indicated that Dena Bank was likely to start off on the back foot, Vijaya yeah. Bank as well lower, but Bank of Baroda, the merger ratio in favor of them. Yes, sir. Slightly, slightly, uh, but uh, perhaps that is to be expected because it's a larger bank right. with more advantages. Uh, Dana Bank, uh, the ratio would work out to one is one share of BOB will be given for those who hold 9.1 shares of uh, Dana Bank, and uh, those who hold two and a half shares of uh, Vijaya Bank would be given one share of BOB. Mm -hmm. If you looked at the yesterday's closing price of uh, uh, Dana and uh, BOB, you would have expected a much more favorable, perhaps, uh, you know, uh, eight shares of, uh, uh, not even eight, seven shares of uh, Dana for one, one share of BOB. But uh, since that didn't come, we, we are adjusting to that 26% uh, uh, discount at which the swap worked out mm -hmm. over yesterday's prices. So actually, Dana has only fallen 18%. The expectation was it would fall even 20-21%. Yes. So uh, this is not all in... Uh, in Vijaya Bank, it's almost arithmetic. Uh, the swap ratio in yesterday's math worked out to be about 6% lower. And that's exactly what appears to be falling at this point in time. And uh, there are positives, of course, after the merger. You are going to see about... the All these are calculations. Now that we know the swap ratio, 30% more of BOB shares will have to be issued Sure. to Vijaya and uh, uh, Dena Bank shareholders as on the record date. 
uh, the NPAs of the merged entity will not be much higher. Uh, the book value of H1 FY19 gets uh, falls a bit because Dana had a lot of uh, uh, yeah. uh, NPA, so it gets low. Uh, the adjusted book lowers a little, but the GNPA of the merged entity will be similar to BOB's current uh, GNPA, and the net NPA, of course, will be a little higher at 5.3 percent compared to 4.9 that BOB uh, reported. And uh, of course, uh, there could be other advantages that will come BOB's way or the merged entity's way. The merged entity will be a very big bank, uh, you know, comparable to uh, ICICI and therefore could find its way, a uh, place in some of the indices. And uh, that also could give it a little bit of a premium. But that all we will have to see. There are a lot of unanswered questions and probably we will get answers to some of them. Uh, from our guest now, Arya Shankar Narayanan, Managing Director and CEO of Vijaya Bank joins us now. Uh, good morning, Mr. Shankar Narayanan. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, uh, very, very good afternoon, Lata and uh, team. Thank you very much. Okay. First of all, a happy new year to you. Same to you and to your team. Thank you. What's the reaction to the swap ratio itself? Uh, uh, was it well received in the bank? Uh, any shareholders wrote to you? Um, we are waiting, actually, at the... Uh, Swap ratio is 402 shares of uh, Bank of Baroda for every 1,000 shares of Vijay Bank. And uh, the, we have a fair and transparent uh, way of uh, independent valuation, number one. Number two, fairness has been certified. Third, the grievances, if any, it will be addressed by a committee of uh, uh, retired judge and uh, two experts formed for that purpose. I don't see any issues on uh, the valuations or the swap ratio as of now. Mm. All right, uh, sir, just a quick question. In terms of rationalization of uh, operations, do you expect some uh, uh, some layoffs post this um, uh, entire amalgamation that will take place? Uh, not necessarily, because uh, we are having totally combined around 9,500 branches. Mm. And uh, Vijay Bank basically are predominantly it's in Perth, whereas uh, Dena is in uh, Gujarat. Mm. Uh, Bank of Baroda has branch across India. Mm. So there won't be much uh, rationalizations or uh, reduction in branch premises as of now. Mm. Uh, what would the total deposits look like for the combined entity? Uh, will uh, it become uh, bigger than ICICI Bank? Uh, no, uh, the combined business will be more than 16 lakh crores. Which how, will be how much, sir? Will be how much? 16.5 lakh crores. Okay, okay. So that will be the total business. And mm. uh, I, I'm sure there is good potential to grow. And uh, this will be second biggest public sector bank. Mm. And third, uh, compared with uh, all the banks operating in mm. India. What are the steps that have already been taken? Have you all taken steps in terms of uh, uh, who heads the bank and how will be the fitment in terms of de designations and ranks? See, up to as far as the operations are concerned, it is the staff at uh, from clerical to general manager level. They will all be fitted according to their uh, date of joining, seniority, promotions and all that. There won't be any issue mm. as far as the regular offices of the bank is concerned. When it comes to management, that is, MDs uh, and EDs, it's after all the decision taken by the government from time to time. And people effortlessly move from one bank to another. So uh, the organization and structure of this uh, will be decided by ministry at appropriate time mm. and we have no issues at all on that you have, no, you have no hint on uh, uh, I, I would I, is it that mr jayakumar will continue to head the amalgamated entity uh, what will your role be no no hint has been given by the shareholder absolutely the appropriate decision will be made by dfs and uh, i think once an amalgamation takes place definitely they will be thinking of uh, proper role for other uh, mds and eds also should not be an issue Sorry, I didn't. Uh, I probably missed the detail. But when is the amalgamated entity going to trade as one share, and when will you uh, change the name and put up common boards, sign boards uh, for the, all? Uh, first April will be the date for amalgamation. Okay. okay. So that day, the name boards cannot be changed overnight. So okay. there will be a um, group or a member of Bank of Baroda. Some speaker will be affixed in all the. Mm. Uh, 9,500 outlets. Okay. And of course, the decision on logo and other things also has to be made and repainted. Mm. So, it may, it may take another six to nine months time for the entire name board synchronization, logo synchronization, okay. have, and the 
staff uh, deployment everything can happen in maximum before september this year i think oh september uh, so as of now there is no uh, decision or homework done on uh, how many branches may be duplicated or uh, not many not many it may be maximum 200 to 300 branches may okay. be have duplication but okay. depending on the potential and the business in mm. that particular area mm. a decision can be mainly taken that i all ready to integrate your treasury right away uh after april okay so, so on april 1st you can have an integrated treasury your software is talking to Because each other the ba- individual banks will declare the balance sheet of 31st march okay okay and thereafter so, yeah and, and the whatever is integration or uh, combination it is from 1st april only and that to we require some more regulatory approval once when it comes mm. everything will be formalized okay so just a couple of questions on uh, the uh, new rules that have kicked in for msmes what is your exposure to uh, medium and small enterprises uh, with uh, loans under 25 crore um see uh, uh, the npa or the performance of sme is much better in vijay bank compared to many other bank mm. our uh, default ratio is somewhere around the uh, I to say in the same in the segment mm. there is industry wise it's around 15% mm. and on restructuring uh, there are not many accounts as far as uh, vijay bank is concerned but mm. we will selectively do the restructuring whatever uh, prescriptions given by reserve bank of india mm. we will also follow it up and overall the credit portfolio in vijay bank is very sound and safe now what is the amount do you have the number I don't have uh, ready numbers but okay. definitely my results are on uh, 21st of uh, okay. January so What? We- are, uh, are any of them in SMA would you know how many of the under 25 crore are in SMA 1 or 2 uh, not much okay. our portfolio is uh, under uh, SMA all including corporate sector up to 012 all put together it may be maximum 3000 crores i am lying talking about the entire portfolio Okay. So okay. it's 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 insignificant mm. as far as the value is concerned uh, in Vidya Bank is okay. concerned. Okay, as of March 31st you are going to submit a standalone uh, PNL. So how Yeah, that, you... that has to be given. Yes. yes. So what will 31st. that PNL what will be the highlights of that PNL? Are you expecting to maintain that 20% odd loan growth? Are you expecting your uh, net interest margin around 3%? It is it is even for uh, December as well as March, we are confident we will make any plans, including NPS around uh, below six percent as far as uh, glass below four mm. percent net. Okay, uh, are your provision coverage ratios as good as uh, BOBs, or we, will you have to increase it? We are somewhere around sixty-three percent as far as the valuation is concerned. Uh, all have been uh, valued at uh, whatever uh, RBI regulations are concerned. Mm. IRAC norms what the value is there we have provided or rather in some accounts we have provided more okay okay well just a final question we understand that many bankers have written to RBI asking for a bit of uh, relaxation on several issues uh, like for instance a stand still on IL and FS uh, that one day default uh, should be uh, changed to i think 20 day default uh, or i think 60 day default sorry uh, recognition only after 60 days Uh, are you aware of this letter were you a signatory um we we it is combined uh, let us through i think it has been made but uh, nothing specific from the bank has been given other vidya bank has not uh, asked for any dispensation at all all right okay okay mr shankar narayan and we will leave it at that thank you very much indeed for joining us uh, with all those details and all the very best uh, uh, for the amalgamation and thereafter in 2019 Well, on that note, I think uh, what we'll do is we'll slip into a short break. You come back. We'll keep an eye out on the banking stocks, but we'll also shift focus and we'll talk about some of these auto sales for the month of December.